will be playing the Junkrat. And that's something that we noted yesterday. You're going to see Chip play a lot more of the Mercy on this roster now. I know he was you know, mixing it up between Harry and Custa, but you know, Chip's, I think, you know, without question, the best Mercy on this Dallas Fuel roster. And you know, Boston has already given up a tick here, Mitch, and they lose Dream Casper. Error in judgment there, and Custa fires his second kill. Both DPS players are down. Galax is forced to extend into trying to get the red on Dream Casper, but they go falls. As soon as Boston bring one player back, they lose yet another. And now Effect has got a little bit of room to work. Casper's going to be threatened here. He drops down, but it's skeet shooting for my boy Effect. Casper dead before he hits the ground. And you see the position doing that, by the way, without a Lucio and a super mobile composition here means Dallas were very quick on the call to disengage from that fight. So no speed boost available or anything similar. So Riptide could be possible here, and you can see Seagull's very aware that it could be dropped down behind by Dreamcaster, but no Dreamcaster takes the direct approach! He just lazily lobs a mine in his direction, and Casper, well, goes the way of the weary there. Seagull, giving a little bit of respect, knows there was a Diva self struck happening, and Kalex is taken down by Nick, so this is good for the Dallas field now, that makes more progress. No, gets de-suited, Seagull now is on a running riot, he's looking for a bit more, lobs the one in! How does he find that? Just casually... Yeah. It's like the Supercharger and Deadeye combo is actually not one to be underestimated. I mean, Boston, they do have both of their support ults, and they have Dragon Blade. So, we'll see how they decide to use these. Oh, they're doing it! That was cool. Okay, so they use Supercharger, yeah. put that barrier down, give him back. Maybe a little bit extra damage here with the Deadeye. They use both of those ults, they don't get any for it thus far. It's going to be two kills. Kellogg's just going to use his Valkyrie. Let's see if he decides to bring that up. Custer back in the fight now. Effect is going to make his way forward. Casper trying to go for the reflect, but Neko never stood a chance. Out of the open, and Effect is more than happy to find him down the lane. Resurrect now on the shield to boot. He's gonna be Gumpty trying to go in again, but he's gonna get stunned as soon as he hits the ground. Doesn't quite find what he's looking for now. The Riptide, be able to look for a target. A Casper can't block that one. He's gonna fall. No, not far behind him now. It's just gonna be Neko on the payload. Self-destruct, but Neko dodged it still. All of the Mickey, that's the peel that we're looking for with the Dima. That's why she's in the lineup and not the Roadhog at this stage. Good response from the Fuel. They've done a lot of front-loaded damage to deliver to Boston after their feet hit the ground. And Casper now has to give a lot of respect and a lot of distance to his assailant. He reflects though, that's nasty. Seagull gets a bit of a taste of his own medicine and Coco's struggling to find Casper. Is this man going to be able to do it on his own? He's found another one. Surely not. And no. Mickey now, he sees the HP on the theater. He gets the piece to how is doing it on himself. Striker as well. They may actually take the point based off of just the heroics of Dream Casper. They've done it as well. Pulse Bomb on towards effect to really wow. put the, the punctuation. And what was an incredible opening by the Boston Uprising, specifically Dream Casper in a 1v3. It was what Profit calling him the best Western DPS player, as you see. Dream Casper go high off the wall with his blade. They have no idea where he's coming from. That's right, drop it like Spider-Man, but he's got the Deadpool arsenal to bring to bear. And now, Coco getting cut down by that Dragon Blade. Mickey. <laughs> uh, trying to distract? Maybe it's a war dance, I'm not really sure. He's on the back, so effectively brought back up there. And that could have gone a lot better for Casper. Seeing I was waiting for him there, but that could cut his mind. Striker, gonna have a bit of a moment, a bit of a teeter to teet with Coco there, and gonna pick him off. Now to pressure a little bit more. Over the fight is Kellex. Chips as well, when that Valkyrie is active, so healing is better, but Boston are just chunking through Dallas pretty comfortably here. Wave after wave of the Texans pouring out onto the payload, and yet it is the Boston Uprising with that man advantage constantly. Oh, total mayhem found Dream Casper. Seagull there, leaving his grenade behind as he went back towards the spawn, was able to find the Genji, but still, players are running riot over the here with, for the Boston Uprising, and that's gonna be it. Just trying to separate some of the players here. Up the the down. Oh! That's scary. Kellex is gonna go in and get resurrects on both those players, and he does, but Kellex is Forced to give his life up in the process, and so now Boston are going to be missing the mercy in the fight. It's not good. Mickey with a hook in there, puts him back up in the butcher's shop, and Gamsu will fall. Coco able to deal with Note pretty comfortably, and Casper there. Again, the last stragglers of this fight are being picked off, and Striker will try and keep them busy, but he falls straight into a hook, able to get away. Mickey can't finish the job, but now the overtime still going, mind you, and Dallas have not been moved. Yeah, and Boston ended up using both of their support alts during that previous fight, so now all they have on the defensive end. Primal Rage saw this out. Ship's going to build up towards that Valkyrie very fast. And Coco cool. taking out Neko at the beginning. Not what you want, not the way to want to start the fight. That's for sure. The boss is uprising now. Missing this in the other effect. He's up on the side. He might have note here as well. Just jump down. Just give him a punch. Give him something. Yes, he's dealt. Now with that mini demon against his corner and trap. It's come to him. Seen that happening way too much recently. Casper headshot. It's happening. Striker take him down. Back here early. It's going to have Seagull using the rip tire here. Good end the fight. Yep. Oh, self stuck thrown in the backseat. Seagull's gonna go down and so is Chips. That's massive for a moment. He's managed to take all of the energy out of the middle of the Dallas Fuel composition. And now Dream Casper's there to put the final touches on. 
It's like the brush strokes of an artisan just in the corner of the painting. Perfect for Boston. They really needed that. And clever from note to, to realize that Sigur will be incapacitated while channeling the rip tire. And Chips had to sit in that hallway. Great way to break out a solid defensive composition. A lot of commotion going on. Man, they never got a really great chance of using their support ult or their Dragon Blade at the end there. Frustrating way to give a map away for the Boston Uprise. He looks so good, so fun. Echo is playing a Lucio for Boston. So you think maybe use Sound Barrier to engage and follow it up with that Valkyrie. Could be time for the Dragon Blade. Now it's a early transcendence here from Custer, drawn out of the fight. He was right. Kappa would have been looking to try and get the Dragon Blade, but he's down. He might not have a chance to use it at all. No. Brought back to life, but no! They're pushed off the payload. Oh. The Seagull pressuring that high ground as well, making it very hard for that support duo. Always going in for the kill. He might have a mine available. This could be nasty. Neko getting knocked up. He found Telex as well. The Mercy now won't be available for any Resurrect, and this has gone about as bad as it possibly could have. Oh, Neko catches one more, and Seagull dishes out some death. Like death volley, right? You're just going to kind of keep you know, moving forward with Coco playing Arisa. Oh, it's the four-man pulse bomb. Nothing left of Dallas Fuel but Cinder's and charred extremities. Right. Perfect. He, he timed that so well, Matty got him, and just as soon as they walk together inside the side room. What I was going to say is Dallas Fuel is going to use this comp and wait for the players of Boston Uprising to come to them. Ideally, this doesn't happen when they come towards them. Oh, as... oh, that cool the support ult. So you're going to have the two to one support ult advantage coming into this next fight. Effect uh, building up towards that Death Blossom. You don't really know what you're looking. You don't really get a ton of use out of Death Blossom. Oh, it's Dreamcast, we get stuck in a trap. Gets a reflex. Another one! Another Pulse Bomb coming out from Striker. He connects with two. You did use your Transcendence Air Boston Uprising. Now some... Effect has some room to breathe himself. He can catch some of these respawns in that one thing already. Casper, Neko's there as well. He falls to the Hellfire shotgun, and Effect's not done there yet. Wait for the deflect to time out. He finds Dream Casper, and now Node has to push himself into the tank killer himself. Effect will be more than happy to catch these big bodies as they try and stall out the point. That's two dicks for those following at home. Mickey's found two though with one whole hog. Neko, what do you do from here? He goes for the Transcendence. Effect's gonna hold on to his Death Blossom now, wait for a chance to use it. Dragon Blade from Dream Casper going in. He's trying to make this difference, but he's got to back away. It's a break there. Bonanza for effect out on the point. And that's in the direction they expect opponents to be. Oh. Super risky, just coming flying around the corner there on effect, but he gets Custer early. They're going to get chips as well. Two huge kills for the Boston Uprising. They get on to point A. Uh, and that is all on effect. No one to blame but himself there. He had an opportunity to pick Striker up. He let it inside his house. And Striker snatched up all the silverware and went on his merry way. It was great timing from the Striker waiting on the left-hand side against two hasn't used a pulse bomb. So he's gonna have that as well. And we can see that everyone needs to play around this shield. So again, it's gotta be quick. He's gotta let one clip go, get his ultimate, then fight another attack, and he's found two! How? How has he done that? Since the Seagull have dropped, now pulse bomb in striker is just cutting a, a bloody swap through the Dallas kill. That's his third kill here. And uh, Kellex will bring back those just in case they need the extra bodies on the point, but they may well not. Striker with five kills in the fight. And they're gonna have their blade here. No support ults up for Dallas Fuel. It's gonna be Neko getting his transcendence here as well. And they can't even get back to the point. The Boston Uprising run through. The, the uh, no, for lack of a better word, the effect that Striker is having here on Dallas Fuel. It's better than They're the definitely feeling it. No yeah. doubt about it. Striker drops in about 100 HP, forced for recall only, but Casper and Nota have already been getting the job done here. It's comfortable, it's easy, it's almost lazy for the Boston Uprising now as they sit and they receive the push. They find the target, but the calling's been so good. And now there's only one second remaining, no one from the Dallas Fuel on the point is red out again. Dream Casper, waiting in the wing now for his opportunity. He sees some low support, he wants to go for it, but he gets caught up with the hole. Coco now gonna hold him in place, but Effect drops out. He was just a slither of HP, and Neko was there to finish him off. Now Mickey might be the next target. Dream Casper has a bit of room to breathe, and now he's starting to feel it. Copying a lot of damage here, and Coco's in his way, but Neko helps him deal with that target as well. Might be time for Dragon Blade to but Casper wants to play it slow. In the moment that he took, though, Striker has fallen. He's currently the only flanking DPS player on his team that's up. And now Gamsu getting caught in a trap. Might mean it's going to be a struggle, but he's going to go for it anyway. Reflex Mickey's whole hog back at him. And now it's time for the Dragon Blade. Oh, Pippi tries to get away to safety, but Dream Casper slides the wall. This could be dangerous for him, though. But Neko, this entire fight has been there. Consistent damage available. And a Boston Uprising get it done. They leave effect on top oh, of oh, that, that shield, and they just collapse right so down clever. on top of him. Gamsu may have gone down here, but the, the, the principle and the concept of that was great. Dream Casper drops in. He just distracts people, he gets the attention of effect, and out of nowhere, Gamsu just comes screeching on in. 
And now Dream Casper once again has that space. And again, that aerial superiority. Down us a look. You can see now the Barrage coming through. No, it was Micro Rockets and Barrage, in fact. But Dreamcast was one getting the real damage done. Effect fell. Striker now sitting inside the dome. Effect has a chance to come back. And now with the Transcendence in play, Striker's going to respect us that much more. But it's just a two man show right now. Custer and Effect are the only players that are really around to get this one. And it's really not an effective use of the Transcendence. Another support ultimate drawn out of Chips. They've got to go now. If the only chance Dallas to bring back in this round. But Chips is done. And the Boston Uprising just looks so good right now at Ilios. And the monkey through this. I think the more interesting thing is how does Boston go and attack? He's going to try and get one of these ultimates out as Dreamcaster will take out the Riptire from Seagull. Nodal actually takes Seagull out, but he actually takes... They're getting out no, Total Mayhem there as well. Yeah. He's dropping it. some grenades. Martyrdom, some people know it is from other games. And now Mickey needs to fight back. He does. A bit of presence on the point here for the Dallas Fuel. Effective fall down, though. They need him back in this fight. But Striker's also missing. So both DPS threats to neutralize. And Kellex is going to fall. A perfect hook. Somehow catching him as he passed by the very small aperture. And now with the overtime quick burning down no it's gonna get moved away immediately d suited needs to throw himself on towards the point Dallas need this round so badly to stay in this series in general the gums is gonna drop down he falls again over time one by one Boston are throwing themselves at this point trying to keep this one alive and striker this time tries a pulse bomb lobs it in doesn't connect in effect picks him up that's gonna be it point still not over to Boston and dream Casper with a rocket barrage here early oh, but it's gonna be a big kill by Mickey gets note into the hole, he gets Striker as well. The Dallas Fuel off that spawn will be able to take this point. So Boston never even oh, gets Arisa not as effective as they'd like it to be. Oh, Chips! Just a, uh, what do the five fingers say to the face, Matt? Slap! Let's go. Dreamcaster has been dominant as Farah. 20 eliminations, zero deaths on this hero on Ilios. So we haven't seen that in a little while, and the rest of Dallas are trying to keep this one going, but Custer is just cut to pieces. Casper was there to follow up on the tank's initiation, and the race is in. Effect is back on the table now. Chip's looking for more, and he finds Coco the Reinhardt's even here. The pass bomb's dropped on towards Mickey, though. He will get desuited, and Strike has found that kill, but it might take more. Kalex double res. Now Neko and Gamsu are back in the fight. Casper's looking for a mini diva, and he finally gets it. But the Reinhardt hammer swats him aside, knocks him around, makes it hard, but it doesn't matter. Well, the Farah couldn't really damage them, and Gamsu got discorded straight away. Maybe not the most coordinated of dives from a team that actually has a very, you know, well streamlined approach to diving. Casper tries to go in there for a bit of cheekiness. The barrage, but it shut down. Effect almost had a sick sense about it. Neko, Kalex, both falling. Not a lot of that damage is really going to make its mark on him. Gamsu's brought back though, so the big tank, the initiating factor here, the key. The player of the Boston Uprising is present back on the battlefield once more, and Striker has room to breathe. Now pushing through, has that recall, but now he's going to have to be very, very careful. Those grenades could claim him pretty comfortably, and he's low. He's down, he gets chased up by Effect. He's made the switch over to Tracer. Effect really desperately wanting to make the difference here, and the Dallas Fuel will get themselves into that last stage. And back there, harass the supports. Now it's much different with Effect playing Tracer. One of the best Tracers in the world is so he gets hit with a Discord, has to back up. Get a bit. Dive is going to come in for Boston. If they go oh. deep, it's going to be Seagull, though he uses the Rift higher. Takes Dream Casper out. Effect will connect with a Pulse Bomb on Kellex. I believe that. Okay. There might be a worry here for Good. the Dallas Fuel. They've used a lot of game winning ultimates in that last fight now. Whereas Boston still have a couple of work. It's not reinforcements from coming in. They're trying to block Neko from getting out, but he gets there still. Body block not quite successful, but Effect now is found where the supports have been hiding. And the Riptide might just follow up on that discovery. No, it's Gamsu down. And now attempt for Kalex to get him alive. Looking left, right, and center, trying to stay alive. But the Resurrect will not be forthcoming. Casper gets knocked away, tries to roll back. Insane amount of damage. I mean, right now, 32 kills, 20 final blows, you know, only seven deaths to his name. You drop him at the beginning of the fight, you feel like you have the advantage. It'll be Chips using Valkyrie, and he has a dead eye here as well, and it's gonna be in fact getting stuck by Striker, he gets Rez right back up. Fine, Kellex now is gonna have to use his Valkyrie to even the scales, but Gamsu's down, oh, the Moth just swoops on him, and Effect's not able to deal with it, someone call Pest Control. Now Effect will find Neko, getting pressured out by Striker as per usual, but he's been healed constantly by Chips, got a lot of support from his backline now, and Effect is really being enabled to do damage, Striker's head goes rolling, who's next is the question, he wants another, and Effect by Kellex to finish things off. The Dallas Fuel have kept themselves alive in this series. We're gonna go to back five. Now to try for something cute, try for a knockoff, but cut down by Dream Casper. But now Effect's gonna go for the Deadeye, has shield protection. Oh ho ho! Finds Casper on the way down, and the Faro is no more. And yet, the Uprising is still throwing themselves at Effect. He said, bring me another! Bring him another! 
Unfortunately, there's nothing left on the uprising for now. Just Striker now looking for his next target. He sees effect and they combo with Damsu in there. Since Striker just spraying with the Pulse Pistols and he and Dream Casper have found themselves four and five kills. And the Dallas Fuel now are down and even worse than that. Now, getting a bit of a take a breather. Getting back into the action. The Pulse Bomb takes both DPS players down from effect. That might be the answer they've been looking for. And enough against any better than that, man. For Mickey's got eight HP. Neko comes in. Player after player stepping out with huge performances, and now the Boston Uprising have control. It's 99%. Stall will be a factor here as Custer tries to sneak onto the point and get back behind that barrier. But Kellex gives Chips the boot. Now Custer trying to escape. Pressure on what Neko here, and you can see that. Tracer of effects is really trying to shut down Neko, but he's able to dodge in. Mickey now comes back in on the Diva. The kills going in favor here to the Uprising. They will take our first peek in and out from a Jingle peeking in McCree. Very effective now, keeping themselves safe for the most part. And Dallas have used both their resins to get into this fight. Yeah, Boston has taken the points, so they're going to start to build up some percentage here. Costa will use his transcendence. It'll be a double rip tire kill that comes in from the Dallas Fuel. But Dallas Fuel will take the point back. Sports use both support ults plus a rip tire. With the Arisa shield, it's just going to take a slow process to get all the way there. Trying to get everyone in safe is the main concern because there's a lot of poke available now from the Uprising. Dream Casper in the open field, attempts hook, backs away to take a breather. Now another Kalios double self the strut kill. Exactly what the Uprising were looking for. That may have sealed the fate here for the fuel. Oh, Chips, he's going to have to get a double res and it's going to have to be fast. And it goes down, but affected already fallen. Hang shot for Striker. No, in fact, hard to say with the Omnic Month getting pounded in with the Boston Uprising of working up here. They've set up on the point. The Dallas Fuel lost too many players trying maybe to reinvent the wheel somewhat and now it's just going to be coco all left on his lonesome here he will fall and in very poignant fashion that will be the boston uprising to take this series away three to two the scoreboard and another one in the back pocket for the uprising what a weak win for them uh, they complete a tremendous week for boston you know, last week after their you know bad defeat